This is taking apart a right hand Hydroline Junior sail drive model. So you've got to recognise that it is a right hand model first. So the straight edge is the leading edge, the round edge is the trailing edge. And if this was to be rotating clockwise viewed from a stern, it would be pushing water towards you and pushing the boat forward. If it spins the other way, anti-clockwise, it's pulling you towards the propeller and hence the boat backwards. Okay, so putting it in the right hand rotation position like that, putting it in the drive position, you then take out the eight socket headed cap screws from around here. I've just taken out seven of them, I'll take out the last one now. And you remove the blade assembly from the rest of the body, which is this part here from here. Now, while you do it, just put a little bit of pressure on the blades, on the gear like that, so that this gear here doesn't pop out and then you've lost what pitch you had. Anyway, so then once you've got it out, you have to have a look at where that pinion is positioned on the hub. The single dot on the pinion is the datum for right hand. So it might be two clockwise or four clockwise or two anti-clockwise or four anti-clockwise. Anti-clockwise from the datum on the hub is minus pitch. Clockwise from the datum on the hub is plus pitch. Once you've taken note of what that is, you can remove that. Then there's a locking method for the propeller nut, which is a little flathead screw. which comes out. Once that screws out, the nut will unscrew and come off. Then like with any other sail drive propeller, the hub will slide off and that's, uh, that's how you remove it. So to put it back together, you put the line cutter on the spline, any spaces that were on the spline go back on, the nut goes on, gets done up, then very important the little cheese headed screw goes back in which is easier said than done then the pinion goes back in on the same setting that it came out I'm just going to put it in on the datum zero Hub gets turned clockwise, that's the direction the propeller turns. The hub, the collar goes anti-clockwise until the stop. There's a datum on the collar, a datum on the body. Also datums on the blades with an R stamped. I've exaggerated it with texture there. That lines up with a dot on the body here. Both blades. You line up the datum on the, on the uh, blade assembly with the datum on the collar slide it all together put one of the socket headed cap screws in and just check that the propeller feathers if it doesn't feather or if one blades out by a lot that means you've got one blade tooth on the gear on the inside out by a tooth it's very obvious and you just repeat the last step Beautiful.